China's import restrictions can affect Wellesley because it creates an oversupply, which then reduces the revenues that can be generated from recycling. With that, you start to weigh whether or not it makes sense to recycle a product or not to recycle a product. In Wellesley, we've got a sort of separated model, which enables us to weather these storms a little bit better because the quality of the recycling is higher than you find in the materials that come through a single stream option. I want to take you on a little bit of a tour so that you can see how we do things here in Wellesley. Investing in a major piece of equipment like this baler. This is an export quality baler which allows us to meet the shipping requirements for overseas shipping. So when the economy is good enough, we're sending our cardboard to China, but we also sell it domestically, whether it's to Canada or whether it's to mills in New York, so that it can be processed. And this really allows us to leverage our materials so that we can get the most revenue for the taxpayers' dollars. We have a source separated model which allows us to separate cardboard from newspaper, from mixed paper, from all the other products. And that really allows us to market those to get the most money for the town of Wellesley. It's really important to mention that we couldn't do any of this without the support of the town government officials, the taxpayers, and dedicated staff. We really do all of the hard, heavy lifting to make sure that we get the cleanest product possible. We're here in our recycling wall. This is where the residents come and separate out into all of our different streams. You can see that we've got a number of different sorts. We've got cardboard, we've got boxboard, newspaper, paper bags, mixed office paper. And this is where you can see that we have extensive signage trying to take the common contaminants out of the waste stream, which are very important because if we have too much contamination in our recycling, it will get rejected by the recycler. Not only do we lose the revenue from that, but then we have to pay a cost to actually get rid of the material. And so we've got an extensive education to try to educate residents on what items are accepted in these areas, what items uh, should be recycled elsewhere, and what items should simply be thrown away in the trash. Common, versus common contaminants for paper, of course, a cardboard, packing peanuts, any plastic. And so we really try to get those items out because then we can generate as much revenue for the town as possible, which in the, in the town of Wellesley is about $400,000 a year in recycling revenue. And it's really the methodology of the source separation that sets the materials apart. And so you'll find very high quality in, in all transfer stations that are good about separating materials and have good educational programs teaching residents what to and what not to recycle and how to keep contaminants out of those recyclables. So Wellesley's not alone. We're not alone. <laughs>